So, we had a small snag with our Skinner. He's not sure what GTA materials are, but he's willing to learn. So, I'm going to have to start going through as many tutorials as I can to try to get him to understand what he needs to phrase the TXD files in, that's the skin files for the vehicles in Grand Theft Auto, so that we can move forward with the work that this gentleman has done here. Now, if some of you out there are very savvy about skinning models, I'm not going to ask for you to be a skinner for me. I'm just going to say, if you know of tutorials for skinning vehicles for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, then that would be an invaluable help. Myself, I am going to be looking for some myself. I think I remember a few old forums that should still have some tutorials on the best ways with which to do uh, these skins, because our modeler is doing phenomenal, phenomenal work, okay? I mean, make no mistake about that. That said, however, uh, he's hitting a few snags, but his latest work is down in the underbar. Now, me... I've just got too much going on right now to get any models done. That doesn't mean this weekend I'm not going to try, but, you know, I got the military rape thing that I keep trying to, uh, series trying to get that finished. And even these models, there, there's always something that's slightly unfinished with me that they get that gets hard to start sometimes. But I told you last weekend I was going to get that series done, and so... I'm going to try to work on that. And I have much to do Sunday. Sunday's going to be an important day. So it looks like most of the time you're going to see more work from me or a possible finished mod with that Thunderdome plane is going to be next week because this weekend is all but spoken for. And yeah. Okay, so anyways, anyways. Um, so basically, though, I wanted to showcase the work of this artist because uh, I've, I've, you know, I've made sure that people understand that it's not me who's skinning this work, that this person is, is working as best they can with the knowledge that they have, and that they're, they're very spirited in a great way. Because though we're hitting a snag, this person is by no means giving up. And the renders, wow, beautiful. These are the kind of renders that I want to see for, you know, the vehicle work that we have done. And I have my own ideas for some fun render ideas for uh, working with um, the mods when I showcase the mesh when it's finished versus how I used to be showcasing them. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I'd rather show it to you when I actually get the next mesh done. And let you guys enjoy the goofiness or the intriguing ideas that I have out there. Lastly, there was one mod I was trying to remember that was going to be a motorcycle mod, and then I remembered it today. I'm going to attempt, because I they did a 360 spin of the meshes they used in the movie, although obviously I'm not going to do a movie quality mesh because that would choke up the rendering engine for it. But for the Grand Theft Autos and hopefully for other series, I'm going to model the Moto Terminator. I don't care that you hated Salvation. Okay, I, I found a lot to like about it, especially the CG Arnold, which in most cases, if you hadn't told me it wasn't him, although obviously it's the younger him, I really would have had a harder time uh, noticing the CG because Industrial Light and Magic was top-notch on that. I thought that effect worked. But the point is, one of the few things I thought that was interesting that they got right was the Moto Terminators. So... I, I have so many refs. There have been people who, who've actually used, like, Maya to actually create uh, meshes as well and even have wireframes up of their mesh so that I can study it without having to have a model, like, in, in the thing to work with. Because, remember, John Connor reprogrammed one of the Moto Terminators. Plus, you got to remember that 
we have some crazy modders out there for Grand Theft Auto 4. Could you imagine character rigging a Moto Terminator so that you could just race around as the Moto Terminator without a rider and just shoot shit up, you know, blow everything to hell and just have fun with it? I mean, that'd be as cool as like these animal mods that they've done or the Terminator, one Terminator mod that they did do for Grand Theft Auto 4, which is a huge reason why I want 4 as well. But I digress. I digress. Uh, so, yeah, th basically, this is the best dev diary that I can give you at this point. There's some skinning that's being done. It's taking its time, but it will be worth it. If this person figures this process out, he'll probably be churning these out like they're nothing because he's always going to be aware of which mods do what or how or which mods are skinned and then I can pass the skinned mods on to our tech person who can then translate it into the two games and eventually someday to the third game uh, with my help. And then we can spread these mods and get them going the ways that we wanted to have them done for so long. This has been a mod from 2006, for gosh sakes. That's how long that this mod has been on again, off again, and I've been trying to find reasons or ways to get into it. And now that I've got a team behind it, I'll also be posting, we have another team who's doing some small tech work right now in Vice City. They have weapons in it, such as the crossbow, Max's crowbar, as well as Max's bolt cutters as weapons for the authenticity of, at the very least, Road Warrior, which I think is, is great. He also has a skin, and I want to try to see if he'll share the Mad Max skin so that I can share it, because I'm going to be starting to post links in many places, and this weekend I'm absolutely going to sit down and get this mod database page done, because I'm hoping that it'll also drum together some help, maybe, so that we could have a whole host of people skinning, tech jobbing, and just getting these in, and maybe even people requesting our meshes, our models for other games so that you can have a Mad Max experience in a game like, say, well, not Fallout, because I know how they do their vehicles for Fallout, and it sucks, but I digress. Um, but like Far Cry or maybe Skyrim or something of this nature. And, and maybe people will be building mod, uh, mod maps, desert wastelands waiting to be ravaged by these car combats. And there's even a combat, uh, a vehicular combat slash, you know, Borderlands kind of thing they got going on this this game uh, that's made by Tudon. And I'm trying to get a hold of their devs to see if maybe they want some of our meshes for their game. I would like to think that since it's Mad Max inspired that they would also like to uh, maybe have a DLC pack that they could put out of our works or ref off of our works uh, so that they could have Mad Max vehicles in their game. Certainly I would be inclined to buy their game if they had actual Mad Max content rather than just the models they've got. Although the models are good, I just, I'm very partial to Mad Max and the design work that was done therein. So, at the very least, link is down in the underbar to uh, my modeling page where I'm also posting the skins. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep moving forward, try to organize everything so that you can see my mod works and see my Skinner and Tech Guys works as well so that they get uh, more of their credit for their work because if I could skin this stuff myself, this mod would probably have been done several times over by now, but it's not, and I can't, so... There we go.